Hello and welcome to another action-packed game of Ashland 7's baseball. We're here in Dedham this evening, July 28th. And the first pitch from the Dedham pitcher, Scott Noski, is in there for strike one. The Ashland 7's have been red hot as of late. They are 10-1, and one, which makes them one of the best, if not the best, in the division as the leadoff hitter Mason Dushney takes strike two. Get to the lineups in the infield for you in just a bit, as the throw down to first is no problem. Strikeout for Scott Noski. Ashland coming off of a win in Norwood. It was a dicey win, but a win nonetheless. A four to three clencher in the uh, bottom of the seventh as Norwood had the tying run on third base, but a stellar play from Jackson Hornung to first baseman Dom Cavanaugh sealed the win. And we're right back at it this Tuesday. Ashland playing five games in seven days. It's a rough one, especially for their pitching staff. And Maddie Tomaselli has the call tonight. We'll see how he does. Right now, the uh, Ashland batting order for you. Right now, we have Kevin Balowitz. He pops this up to shallow right field, ranging over to make the catch, and does is the second baseman, Pat Lyman. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the batting order again for you, still leading off is Mason Dushney. Then we have Kevin Balowitz, Jackson Hornung, the shortstop who I mentioned earlier. Tyler Dossis, Shea Donovan, Lawrence Tang, the designated hitter, Isaac Curley, that's upstairs for ball one, Max Dushney, and finishing things off is the ever-reliable Nick Calabrese. Inside for a ball, 2-0 to Jackson Hornung. In there for strike one, 2-1, two and one. as we've got a quick two outs here in the top of the first inning. The Dedham Diamond on the mound. We have Scott Noski and his battery mate, Cam Landers. It's upstairs for ball three. Over at first, we have Eric Leonard. Second, we have Pat Lyman, who made a catch in shallow right just a moment ago. Shortstop, we have Joe Gafredo. Third, we have Dagan Darnell. And then left to right, we have Griffin Moulton. This is hit in the air. This is a gonna get down there for a base hit and a, a double for Hornung. No, he's gonna go for three as it is crushed to deep center field. And a triple off the bat for Jackson Hornung. As I was saying, left to right, we have Griffin Moulton, Devin Smith, and Frank Desario. They're going to have their work cut out for them if Jackson Hornung is on tonight. That's fouled into the backstop by the cleanup Tyler Dossis. The pitch from Scott Noski. Outside for ball one. Jackson Hornung taking a lead off of third base. So that's upstairs for ball two. That's in there for a strike. Fastball two and two with two outs here in the top of the first. Ashland has played three games in three days now, or will have at the conclusion of this game, as that's hit to the third baseman. Throw over to first base is in time. And not quite one, two, three, but Ashland goes down as we head to the bottom of the first. We'll catch you there on WACA TV or HCAM. Bottom of the first here is two, eight, and one. Dedham is up to bat. And leading off, we have Pat Lyman. Rest of the lineup goes as such. Scott Noski, the pitcher, batting second. Dagan Darnell, third. And then the cleanup, Eric Leonard. Devin Smith. Frank Desario, Joe Gaff Gaffredo, excuse me, Cam Landers, and Griffin Moulton. 
in the nine spot. And Maddie Tomaselli getting the call tonight. Wind up in the pitch is in there for a strike. Lyman already made a good play in shallow right field earlier to catch a fly out. The pitch from Tomaselli down low for a ball. And interesting that Dedham has a has a tie on their record. Bottom of the strike zone called strike. I assume it must have been a, a rain out or it got too dark to continue playing. We had a pretty late game as that's fouled along the third baseline. We had a pretty late game last night, but thankfully the Norwood field had lights but not every field is equipped with lights. Like the Ashland field is not equipped with lights. So at some point, you gotta call it. If it starts getting too dark. One and two. This is hit in the air, third baseline side, but ranging over to make the catch and does not because it was in foul territory. Still a good effort by the left fielder from Ashland. It'll be Kevin Balowitz who gets the call out in left field today. One and two the count still. Pat Lyman running up the pitch count on Tomaselli early here. Ooh, just outside called ball for two and two. Tomaselli has not seen much action for this Ashland squad, although did play in last year's championship run team. Wind up in the pitch, swinging strike for the first strike out of the day for Thomas Selly, and out number one on the inning. But this year, Thomas Selly, he's only recorded one strikeout and one walk in two innings pitched before this game, no earned runs. That's gonna bring up Scott Noski, the pitcher in the dirt for ball one. It cannot be stated enough, the grueling Ashland schedule, they're gonna need a revolving door of pitchers and they're gonna probably need them to go full games. They wanna keep up the consistency that they've seen thus far in the season. But playoffs are coming soon. And they're in the running with Medfield to secure that first place spot. So they're going to want all the help they can get. One and two on Noski. Wind up in the pitch, hit behind the backstop. Tomaselli getting some encouragement from Shea Donovan over in right field. A little bit, little bit of a outfield switch up as we usually see Calabrese in right field, but he's be, he's going to be playing center today. So that's a wild pitch that goes, bounces off of home plate. We overheard Tomaselli in the bullpen and he did say, quote, my knuckleball is on today. So we could see a fair bit of Wild pitches if he choose to, chooses to choose that knuckleball. Wind up in the pitch, down low again, trying to get him on the upswing. Full count now to Scott Noski. Hit behind the backstop, Noski staying alive. But this week does feel like the playoffs in a lot of ways, the way that Ashland has to keep their arms fresh because in the playoffs, of course, there is a pitch count, the Legion playoffs, I should say. There is usually a pitch count, and so Ashland, all teams, I should say, is very cognizant as this is hit on the ground to the shortstop. Hornung throw over to first is in time. Nice play from Jackson Hornung there. Six to three ground out. But a 
it seems like it's kind of a playoff atmosphere that Ashland is having to being forced to recreate here with their schedule. Different pitcher every night, and you got to keep them fresh. Only difference is that there's no pitch count. Let's strike one onto Dagan Darnell, the third baseman. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli. Did it go? He did for a strike. Quick 0 2 count. And Tomaselli looking to take this take this one down one, two, three. Wind up in the pitch. In the dirt for ball one. This is Tomaselli's first start. Swinging strikeout. He goes down one, two, three with two strikeouts on the side. Good inning from Matt Tomaselli. And we're going to head to the top of the second. We'll see you then on WACA TV and HCAM. Top of the second here. Ashland back to bat. And Shea Donovan takes strike one. In there for a ball. This is hit in the air to left field. An easy catch for Griffin Moulton. That's going to bring up Lawrence Tang, the designated hitter. Again, kind of a slow start for Ashland, but that's becoming what they do is they usually, in the past couple games at least, have seemed to got the, get the bats going around the third or fourth inning. So that's outside for a ball. That's hit foul for strike two. But it takes a little bit, and it's usually kick-started by one person. It was Calabrese before, but it has been Hornung previously as well. This is hit in the air, a blooper to shallow right field, and fielded by the right fielder. Frank Desario ranged over to make that catch. It's going to bring up Isaac Curley. He's had a good couple of games behind the plate as well as hitting. And there for a ball. Curley was one for three with a hit and a walk yesterday. This is hit to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. A two out single for Isaac Curley. He keeps his hitting streak alive here. No confirmation on that hitting streak. It's kind of just a feeling. I don't know if the stats from the Hyde Park game, but Curley's been batting pretty well recently, so I think it's a safe bet. Going to bring up Max Dushney. Hit on the ground to the shortstop. Throw over to first is in time. And a quick inning yet again. They're going to leave Isaac Curley on base. 9-1-2. and two. Do up for Ashland. Eric Leonard at the plate, the first baseman. Wind up in the pitch. This is hit to center field. But the left fielder is going to range over and make the catch. That's Shea Donovan. No, Kevin Balowitz. It's usually Shea Donovan. This outfield mixture is getting to me a little bit.
Nice play from Balowitz to be there. Even though that was kind of a blooper, could have gotten down on a less less speedy outfielder. And there for strike one to Devin Smith, the center fielder. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli. In there for strike two. Shaping up to be a little bit of a pitcher's duel. As both of these pitchers, Scott Noski and Matty Tomaselli, are not playing around today. Swinging strikeout, big whoosh coming from the Ashland bench. That's going to be two outs on the inning. Devin Smith going down by way of the K. Frank Desario to the plate, now the right fielder. Like I said before, this is going to be Tomaselli's first start for Ashland. It's down bottom of the strike zone for strike one. But Tomaselli was one of the main parts, one of the main pitchers swinging strike. Tomaselli's found his rhythm now a little bit. One of the main pitchers for the playoff run last year. And they're really going to need Tomaselli to step up if they're missing guys like Sean Babineau. Swinging strikeout. And they're going to tag him because Isaac Curley lost the ball in his glove. But that's a 1-2-3 inning yet again. Another two strikeouts on the side for Matty Tomaselli. We'll catch you in the bottom of the second here on WACA-TV and HCAM. 9-1-2, due up for Ashland here in the top of the third. Nick Calabrese, and if you missed me heaping praise on Calabrese last night, man has upwards of a 600 batting average with a upwards of a... 65% on base percentage. And he went two for two last night. So this kid is good. And they have him at the nine spot. One and one on Calabrese. Also a super reliable outfielder as well. This is fouled into the backstop, one and two. Both scoreless here still. Pitcher's duel between Scott Noski and Matty Tomaselli. So that is strike three on Nick Calabrese. A blazing fastball coming down the middle from Scott Noski. This game is absolutely flying by. It's going to bring up top of the order in Mason Dushney. Mason struck out his last at bat. Caught the bottom of the strike zone on that one. Well framed by the catcher. Wind up in the pitch. Breaking ball in for strike two. Scott Noski is all business right now, and his catcher, Cam Landers, is helping him out a ton. Ooh. Swinging strike three. And that's three straight strikes for Mason Dushney, second strike out of the day. Third overall for Scott Noski. Bringing up Kevin Balowitz. Quick two outs. Quick is the, the mantra here today. I guess like, if I were to guess, is there strike one? If I were to guess, both of these teams have somewhere to be tonight. Wind up in the pitch. This is popped up to the first baseman. And an easy catch. Another 1-2-3 inning. So we're going to head to the bottom of the third. And we'll see you there. Bottom of the third, still scoreless here in Dedham. 7-8-9 and nine due up. Leading off with Joe Gafredo, the shortstop. This game is flying by. It's Matty Tomaselli is out there. He's got four strikeouts on the day to Scott Noski's three. But both pitchers are pitching a gem tonight. Inside corner for strike one. Wind up in the pitch. 
Tried to hit that same spot, but it was a little low for ball one. Downstairs for another ball. Curly has caught a few gems behind the plate as of late. Down again. Tomaselli seems to be trying to really aim for those inside and down low corners of the strike zone. So three and one. Hit on the ground to the first baseman. Fielded and an easy step on the bag for out number one. It's going to bring up Cam Landers, the catcher. One out bottom of the third, still a scoreless game here in Dedham. Upstairs for ball one. Blazing fastball, one and one now. And after the uh, the beating of Hyde Park back on Sunday, 6-0, and the way closer game in Norwood last night, 4-3, Ashland is just looking to maintain their consistency. They also beat Walpole last week and were originally going to play Kingston last Thursday, but it got rained out. We'll see them on Friday. Three and one. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli. Down the middle for strike number two. Full count with one out here to Cam Landers. Tomaselli gets the sign he likes, and he deals. In the dirt for ball four. First walk of the day for Maddie Tomaselli. This is one of the uh, one of the few base runners we've seen. We've only seen three base runners this entire game. This is the first base runner for Dedham. See how they act on the base path. That's going to bring up Griffin Moulton, the left fielder, in the ninth spot. Tomaselli gets the sign and pitches in there for a strike. Landers taking a lead off of first. Tomaselli from the stretch. Wind up in the pitch. And it hit him. First and second with one out for Dedham. That's going to bring up the top of the order, and Pat Lyman struck out his first at bat. Tomaselli from the stretch yet again takes a look at second and deals. Outside for ball one. One runner in scoring position getting a little bit dicey for Tomaselli here. But nothing to worry too much about as of yet. Down the middle for strike one. One and one to Lyman. Wind up in the pitch. Outside, two and one. Tomaselli getting some encouragement from the bench, takes a look at first. 
This is whacked over the head of the third baseman. This is trouble for Ashland here. It's picked up, but the cut is not in time, and a run is going to score for Dedham. An RBI base hit for Pat Lyman. Dedham taking a one to nothing lead here, and that's going to bring up Scott Noski, the pitcher. This is hit on the ground to the shortstop, looking for one. Gets it. Gets the leading runner and a fielder's choice at third base. So we have Scott Noski over at first base, Pat Lyman at second. This is whacked and it's gonna split the gap. Another run coming around, the throw home. Oh, and they're gonna stop him at third. A brilliant throw in by the right fielder, Shea Donovan. Prevented a run from scoring there, but it's two outs. But base is loaded here for Dedham. Bats have come alive for the home team. Dagan Darnell hit the first pitch he saw. He's on first, Noski on second off of a fielder's choice. And Pat Lyman off of a hit over the head of the third baseman, Max Dushny. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli. This is hit on the ground, takes a bounce, but Horning, no problem for him. And he's gonna step on the bag. Only one run of damage done. We're gonna head to the top of the fourth here on WACA TV and HCAM. Top of the fourth, three, four, and five, due up for Ashland. Gonna lead it off with Horning, who had a two out triple back in the first. Dedham took a 1-0 lead last inning off of some good hitting from their starting three. It looks like a new pitcher out there also for Dedham as that's up high. Scott Noski getting the, getting the hook early. Dagan Darnell is going to move from third base to get the call on the mound. Get you Scott Noski's stats next inning. That's upstairs, way upstairs for a ball. This is hit on the ground to the first baseman. Coverage from the pitcher. Did he beat it? He did, he's safe. Darnell couldn't make it there in time and Jackson beat him to the bag. That's the second close play that Jackson Horning has beat out in two days. A controversial, possibly tie goes to the runner. Six to three happened last night in Norwood. Either way, that's going to be a leadoff base hit for Jackson Hornung. Taking a lead off of first base, and that's going to bring up Tyler Dossis. Grounded out in his first at bat. Checking in at first, and the runner is back safe. Game has slowed down a little bit. That's, we're still in the uh, in the fourth here, and catcher drops that ball in the throw down to second, and Jackson's going to get that bag for free on a steal. Say it every game, but in case you're a new viewer, Jake Obed, the coach of the 
Sevens likes to run very aggressively on the base path. Wind up in the pitch. Outside for a ball to Tyler Dossus. Two and one the count. This is whack to center field, right center I should say. That's gonna drop. Horning is took a took a second to pause there to make sure it was gonna get down, but he's gonna score no problem. And Ashland ties it up 1-1. An RBI double for Tyler Dossus. The Ashland bench letting Dedham hear it. Just like the Dedham bench let Ashland hear it. We're all tied up with no outs here in the top of the fourth. It's going to bring up Shea Donovan. Flew out to left field his first time up. Pitch from Darnell. Outside for a ball. One on, no outs, and one run scored. It's in there for a strike, one and one. And we could see a repeat of the Walpole game here as Hornung could have been the spark that Ashland needed to really get the bats going here. One and two to Donovan, the right fielder. Darnell looks at second and deals. That's downstairs for a ball, but it was a close one. Obed chatting with his batter. Two and two to Donovan. This is hit in the air and it's gonna drop down. The center fielder was way too far out. And the leading runner thought about it, but Dossus held back at third. Runners on the corners, no outs for Ashland. It's gonna bring up Lawrence Tang, the designated hitter. Big uh, Larry chant from the bench. Darnell checks in at first, runner back safe. It's close though, quite, quite a move from Dagan Darnell. If Donovan wasn't so speedy, he might have gotten out on that one. Lined up in the pitch, down the middle for strike one. Tang flew out to right field in his first at bat. Swinging strike. Tang also had a pretty important triple, I believe, double, excuse me, yesterday at Norwood. And Donovan's gonna take off for second, but he's so speedy and it falls out of the catcher's glove. They got the strikeout anyway. They're gonna let Donovan take second base. Two steals in the inning. The runners in second and third with one out. Home plate umpire going to behind the plate. Wants a different view of first, I guess. Of course, cannot be behind the catcher due to the social distancing COVID-19 guidelines. That's strike one to Isaac Curley. Two on, one out. Tied up at one. It's in the dirt for a ball. Isaac Curley had a hit, but then was left on base in his first at bat. Wind up in the pitch. So this hit in the air. Right field side, called foul. One and two to Curly. Pitch 
pitch from Darnell. Looks at second and third and deals. This is hit to center field and caught, but Donovan's gonna try to tag up. A great throw in, but it's cut off, and Donovan's gonna help Ashland to take the lead two to one here. Excuse me, that was Tyler Dossis. I ended up getting that. Sacrifice RBI for Isaac Curley. Downstairs for Max Dushney. It's ball one. Hit behind the backstop for a strike. Runner at second base, that'll be Shea Donovan. Ashland's already plated two runs in this inning. There's two outs and maybe looking to do some more work, especially with Nick Calabrese on deck. This is hit on the ground foul. Max Dushney grounded out his first at bat. And just has been the case with the last couple games. Ashland took a while, but in the third or the fourth, they really get going. Checking at second, runners back safe. Darnell does have quite a move, at least over to first. One and two to Dushney. Hit on the ground to the shortstop, and it's going to split the gap. Donovan's going to be held at third, but runners on the corners with two outs. It's going to bring up Nick Calabrese. Definitely one of the guys that you want in this situation. Bats are going for Ashland. Four hits in the inning, doubling what they had previously in the game. And Shea Donovan over at third base. Wind up in the pitch to Calabrese. The pitch from Darnell. This is whacked and it's gonna split the gap again. Another run is gonna score. First and second with two outs. And that's what Calabrese does. Calabrese doing Calabrese things. Sashland bench is loud. I mean like they're usually loud, but just figured I'd highlight it. Two outs on the inning still, but that's gonna bring up the top of the order. Mason Dushney coming up to bat. Breaking ball, but called ball. This top of the fourth has been kind of a nightmare for Dedham. Still two on, Ashland taking a three to one lead. That's down there for a strike. Wind up in the pitch. He did go on that one. This first base umpire is moving all around the, the field. He's behind the first baseman, then he was behind the plate. Now he's just behind the uh, umpire that's calling the balls and strikes. Downstairs, two and two. Dagan Darnell needs to get out of this inning, and this could be the time to do it. Mason Dushney has not had a fantastic day at the plate. That's outside, and it's going to fill up the count. The 
pitch from Dagon Darnell. Looks at second and deals. Both runners, they're gonna get him. Both runners tried for the steal there. That was down the middle and even though Mason Dushney thought he had the walk there, it was called strike. That's gonna put an end to the inning but not before Ashland plates three runs to take a two run lead. We're gonna head to the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth here. Ashland plating three runs. Last inning. And the stats for Scott Noski, who pitched three innings, three strikeouts, no walks, and no earned runs, as this is hit foul on the left field line. At the plate right now, we have Devin Smith struck out his first at bat. Matty Tomaselli found himself in a little bit of a struggle last inning, but out there yet again as he deals a strike. Hit behind the backstop for strike two. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli. Hit on the ground, foul. Two strikes on Devin Smith. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli, swinging strikeout is fifth of the day. We're gonna have a sub here, Eric Foster, coming in for Frank Desario. Pinch hitter. He's going to take a ball. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli. He would have whacked that one if he got a piece of it. But swinging strike, one and one. Eric Foster, one of the bigger kids on this Dedham lineup. So he takes strike two. One out on the inning. Ashland with a three to one lead. Wind up at the pitch from Tomaselli. This is whacked to the right fielder. And easy catch. Donovan did not even have to move on that one. It's going to bring up Joe Gafredo. Grounded out to the first baseman in his last at bat. The shortstop facing Maddie Tomaselli. This is hit in the air to the left fielder. Ranging over and making the catch is Kevin Balowitz. And they're going to go down one, two, three. Ashland trying to continue their momentum as we head into the top of the fifth. We'll see you there on WACA-TV and HCAM. Top five here. Ashland still with a three to one lead. Kevin Balowitz at the plate. 0 for two on the day, seeing if he can turn that around. And he does, as that's hit fair up the right field line. He's gonna go for two. Right fielder's still there chasing it. He's gonna hit the cut. And Balowitz is gonna stop at two. Lead off double for Kevin Balowitz. Puts a hit on the day to Ashland's already pretty impressive number of hits. Seven hits in five innings thus far, scored three runs. 
And that's going to bring up Jackson Hornung, who's two for two with a triple and a single on the day. I believe we have a new pitcher yet again for Dedham. It's going to be Cam Landers, who's moving from catcher. So we will have Dagan Darnell's stats for you. But Got a few pitching changes. Ashland, unfortunately, does not have that luxury. So Dagan Darnell pitched one inning. That's downstairs for a ball. Two strikeouts, three earned runs. Landers looks at second and deals. This is hit on the ground. Foul, third baseline. Jackson Hornung has had quite the season. Definitely an all-star athlete out of Ashland High School. Landers takes a look at second and deals. Inside, good eye on Hornung. It's a fastball on there. Wind up and the pitch. Downstairs for another ball. Two and two. One on, no outs for Ashland here. This is hit to the third baseman. He's going to go for one, and he's going to find it. But not sure if Landers was going for coverage somewhere, but he stepped off the mound for some reason. That is going to advance Kevin Balowitz on a fielder's choice. It's going to bring up Tyler Dossus. Seen some familiar faces from last inning as Ashland almost batted around. Dossus had a base hit and ended up scoring. So that's hit foul near us. One out, runner at third base for Ashland here. Still a three to one lead. Dossus one for two on the day with an RBI. Two and one the count. Landers looks at third, wind up in the pitch. Hit on the ground past the pitcher. Second baseman got it, but he's gonna leave it be. Didn't think he could get the throw off to first. That's going to be a base hit for Tyler Dossus. Balowitz staying put at third also. So runners on the corners with one out for Shea Donovan. Also had a hit last inning and scored. Scored off of an RBI from a sacrifice fly from Isaac Curley. Landers steps off the mound to check in at first, but doesn't throw it. Doss is taking a lead, as does Balowitz over at third. The pitch to Shea Donovan outside for ball one. Pitch from Landers, upstairs for ball two.
top of the fifth inning and only about an hour's gone by. This game is still going at a pretty fast pace. That's three straight balls to Shea Donovan, 3-0. and Not that many walks on either side. Had a hit by pitch and a handful of walks, if that. In there for strike one. Let's look at the score sheet here. Yeah, it looks like we've only had one walk the whole game. And a hit by pitch. So this is hit in the air to center field, ranging back. And he does not make the catch. But a little bit of a hold up on the base path here as someone's going to get caught out. No, they're not going to get caught out. That was kind of an awkward play as the man from first didn't really know where to go. He wasn't sure if he was supposed to tag up or not. That is still going to be a base hit RBI as Kevin Balowitz comes around to score. Tyler Dossis over at second as well. And a 4-1 lead for Ashland now. That's going to bring up the pinch hitter, Bubba, Bubba Gazzard. I thought that was going to get ugly for Ashland. As it seems like the two runners were going to collide on second base, but Donovan quickly retreated back to first base before the cutoff man could get the ball over to the first baseman. So everybody was safe. Still one out in the inning for Bubba Gazzard. In for Lawrence Tang. Lined up in the pitch from Landers. In there for a strike. One and two on Bubba Gazzard. One of the big stars of the championship Ashland football team. That's off the foot of the catcher on a wild pitch and both runners are going to advance. Second and third for Ashland, still one out. Both teams using an abundance of subs and moving around a little bit. Two and two. Full count for Bubba Gazzard now. Tough situation for Cam Landers. Needs a strikeout or he needs his infield to do some work here. Inside for ball four, that's going to load up the bases. And a visit to the mound from the Norwood coach. Maybe pulling Cam Landers before he can finish the inning. Probably not, though. So we got Bubba Gazzard over at first base. We have Shea Donovan over at second and Tyler Dossis over at third. Kevin Balowitz has already come all the way around to score off of a base hit from Shea Donovan. And that's gonna bring up Isaac Curley, the catcher for Ashland. Down there for ball one. Some big damage could be done here. Ashland with a four to one lead thus far. Wind up in the pitch, hit on the ground, third base side, but it's fair past the reach of the third baseman and two runs are gonna come around to score. Ashland taking a six to one lead now. 
This game is being blown wide open. A two RBI single for Isaac Curley, and he's having himself a game. Bubba Gazzard over at second base also. It's going to be Max Dushney at the plate. One for two on the day. But left on base earlier in the fourth. And the bats are going for Ashland, make no mistake. Maintaining a six to one lead as that's a wild pitch from Landers and the runners are going to advance. Two runners in scoring position for Ashland. Still only one out. Landers takes a look at third and deals. He's hit behind the backstop. is hit in the air first base side, or no, excuse me, behind the backstop. Two and one onto Dushni. This past couple innings have been pretty rough for Dedham. Sashland leads them six to one here in the top of the fifth. Wind up in the pitch, this is hit two Left center field, ranging over and making the catch, but there's going to be a tag, and Bubba Gazzard is going to score no problem. A 7-1 to one lead, but two outs now for Ashland. That's going to be a sacrifice RBI for Max Dushney. Wind up in the pitch to Nick Calabrese. We have Isaac Curley over at second base, the lone runner for Ashland out there right now. Four runs have scored in this inning. On top of the three from last inning, as that's upstairs for a ball. To an O to the center fielder. Swinging strike. Two and one. And two outs on the inning for Ashland. Wind up in the pitch from Landers. This is hit in the air. High to the left fielder. And he's going to make the catch no problem. Dedham gets out of the inning, but not before Ashland plates four more runs, bringing their hit total to a lot. Matty Tomaselli coming back in for his sixth, uh, fifth, excuse me, inning of work, and we'll have it for you on WACA TV and HCAM TV. Seven to one, the lead for Ashland after a massive fifth inning following up a massive fourth inning. So we have eight, nine, and one for Dedham due up. And starting us off here, we have Cam Landers, who was just out there pitching. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli, who's out there for his fifth inning of work. And Dedham has been just 
unable to respond after plating one run back in the third. And the sun has come out. Uh, and I feel bad for all the outfielders right now. That's hit, that is hit foul behind the backstop. The upside for Ashland is that not many pitches have been thrown as that's a breaking ball right into the glove of Curly for a strike. One and two on to Cam Landers. Wind up in the pitch. Down low for a ball. Excuse me, full count onto Landers now. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli. Hits this one in the air. Foul first base side, but it's going to drop before the first baseman can get there. <laughs> Cam Landers staying alive here. It's just out of range for Mason Dushney, the first baseman. Tomaselli gets the sign he likes. Winds up and deals. This is hit in the air to Jackson Hornung. No problem for the shortstop. One down for Ashland here in this bottom of the fifth. That's going to bring up Griffin Moulton. Was hit by a pitch in his last at bat. Should mention that Cam Landers is the only the the only run that has scored for Dedham today came from Cam Landers off of a walk. Fastball down the middle from Tomaselli. It's in there for strike one. Wind up and the pitch. Breaking ball for strike two. Coach Obed definitely looking for Tomaselli to pitch the full game as Fonseca and Owen Radcliffe, as well as I believe it was Tyler Dossis on the mound on Sunday, have all pitched full games. That's what he needs from his pitching staff as we're heading into the weekend as that's a swinging strike three onto Griffin Moulton. Two outs in the inning for Dedham. That's going to bring up the top of the lineup, Pat Lyman. Pat Lyman had an RBI single back in the third. Was left on base. The pitch from Tomaselli. This is hit foul. A swinging strike from Pat Lyman. 0-2. Oh and, and two outs on the inning. Tomaselli looking to retire the side right now. Upstairs for a ball. Try to get him chasing up high with that one. 1-2 one onto Pat Lyman. Wind up in the pitch from Tomaselli. Ooh, tried for something there. It was high and inside. And that'll get him. Struck out looking for strike three. And that'll end the side. We're going to head to the top of the sixth here in Dedham. We'll have it for you on WACA TV and HCAM TV. Top of the sixth here, and Nick Larsh is going to get the call to come in for Mason Dushney. 
with a 7-1 to one lead. Ashland looking to use their subs a little bit. And we have a new pitcher again for Dedham. James Devonick on the mound. Cam Landers pitched one inning, one walk, and allowed four runs. Wind up in the pitch. Way upstairs onto Nick Larsh. Swinging strike from James Devonick. Inside for a ball, two and one. Ashland has had a massive fourth and fifth innings, recording five and four hits in each, and then three and four runs in each, respectively. This is hit to the second baseman, and the throw is in time. Four to three, ground out. Connor Kramer coming in for Kevin Balowitz in this top of the sixth. Wind up and the pitch from Devonick. It's going to be downstairs for a ball. Downstairs again for ball two. This is Dedham's fourth pitcher of the game. And I actually liked what I saw out of Scott Noski and Dagan Darnell, especially even though Darnell allowed three runs. His move to pick someone off at first or second was not letting any of these Ashland runners steal. So that's going to be hit to right field, foul territory, and it's going to drop. Two and one onto Connor Kramer. Tough to be an outfielder right now. The sun is beating down. And it was quite a humid day today. It has since cooled off a little bit. The wind has started, but not entirely as that's going to be a walk for Connor Kramer. Gonna bring up Jackson Hornung, no sub for him. They're putting him to work. That's upstairs for ball one. Balowitz and Dushney, y'all get a break, but Hornung, we still need you to, he to hit some triples. Pitch from Devonick, Connor takes off for second. A slide, and it looks like he made it in time. The throw was too high from I assume Cam Landers, who's back behind the plate, but I can't see the number. Wind up in the pitch, this is smashed to left field. Is it gonna drop? And it will. Everybody's coming around. Kramer's gonna come around to score, and Jackson's gonna go for three. He will. I was totally kidding when I said we need you to get out there and hit a triple, but you know. It was like kind of an educated guess based on what I've seen from Jackson Hornung before. So an RBI triple for Jackson Hornung as Connor Kramer comes around to score. Gonna make it an 8-1 game as this is hit in the air by Tyler Dossis. And no problem for the center fielder. Jackson Horning's gonna try to tie it up on a tag, and he will. A 9-1 lead for Ashland. 
sacrifice RBI fly out for Tyler Dossus. Andrew Dennison coming in for Shea Donovan is going to take strike one. And there for strike two, quick 0-2 on to Andrew Dennison. One out on the, uh, two outs, excuse me, on the inning for Dedham. Downstairs in the dirt for ball one. Wind up in the pitch, swinging strike three, and that's going to retire the side. We are heading to the bottom of the sixth, but not before Ashland plates two more runs. We have a nine to one lead heading into the bottom of the sixth. Lots of position changes for Ashland. Can't really name them all for you, but one of which is Connor Kramer over in left field, Jackson Hornung, moving over to first base. But Matty Tomaselli stays on the mound, lined up in the pitch. This is crushed in for a base hit to center field by Dagan Darnell. They did an okay job pitching earlier in the game, in there for a base hit. He's actually two for three on the day. One of the shining stars of Dedham in this game. In there for strike one on to John Bennett, subbing in for Eric Leonard. Tomaselli from the stretch. This hit in the air, first base side. Foul. 0-2 the count on to John Bennett. Hit on the ground past Tomaselli. Chasing it is the second baseman. Palms it, but not in time. Bennett's going to be safe at first. It was a good throw from whoever took over Horning's role at shortstop, but not in time. First and second with one out for Dedham. Wind up in the pitch to Devin Smith. Over two on the day. Striking out. So he and Maddie Tomaselli are not buddies right now. Bats are coming alive for Dedham a little bit. With their subs. This is hit onto the third baseline called foul. Hashline still with a nine to one lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Go 
one out. First and second for Dedham. This is hit in the air behind the plate and caught by Isaac Curley for out number two. That's gonna bring up Frank Desario. Desario 0 for 1 on the day with a strikeout. Wind up in the pitch. Breaking ball, strike one. Excuse me, that's going to be Eric Foster who hits it up, splitting the gap. And one's going to come around to score for Dedham. Mishandled by the left fielder. but hits the cutoff with a beautiful throw to third base and salvages what could have been two runs, only one run. A two out double for, excuse me, excuse, for Eric Foster. Three hits in the inning for Dedham. So they make it a 9-2 game. This is hit to the shortstop, throw over to Hornung is no problem. And Dedham plates a run as we're gonna head to the top of the seventh here on WACA TV and HCAM. Top of the seventh here for Ashland as they have a 9-2 lead. Devonic out there for his second inning of work. First inning in a while, we haven't had a pitching change from Dedham. Wind up and the pitch to Bubba Gazzard and he's gonna send this one in for a base hit. The bench goes wild for the sub. But if you know anything about Ashland sports this year, you know that Bubba Gazzard is quite the athlete. I believe that he is Two for two on the day, excuse me, one for two. He walked, but has come around to score earlier in the fifth. Checks in at first, runner back safe. Lead off single for Bubba Gazzard. That's gonna bring up Isaac Curley, the catcher. Curley is 0 for three on the day, or excuse me, one for three, but with a sacrifice fly. RBI. Wind up in the pitch from Devonic. That's going to hit him. And they're going to give him a balk. So, balk didn't really matter, but still hit him. Sounded like it hurt a little bit. Hit him on the wrist of the hand. Going to send Gazzard over to second. And bring up Max Dushny. Dushny, one for three, but also with an RBI sacrifice fly on the day. Fouls it behind the backstop for strike one. Oh and one to the third baseman. Wind up in the pitch. Inside from Devonic. One and one. Upstairs, two and one to Max Dushny. Wind up in the pitch. 
This is hit to the pitcher, but he tries and it took a bounce. He tried to get a uh, force out over on second base, but he threw it right past the shortstop. I believe Bubba Gazzard came around to score on that one. That is his second run of the day. Making it a 10 to two game. James Merloni is gonna be at the plate right now. Wind up in the pitch, swinging strike. Still no outs on the inning for Ashland. Way upstairs. Catcher had to jump for that one, but got in front of it, so all the runners will stay put. Over his head for another ball. And the Dedham bench was talking trash after the strike, but even the fans are letting them hear it here after two straight balls. Wind up in the pitch, swinging strike again, two and two. Pitch to James Merloni. Hit on the ground, foul. Excuse me, I believe it is a full count for James Merloni. A 10 to two lead for Ashland here in the top of the seventh. And that's gonna be ball four to James Merloni. Bases loaded, no outs. That's gonna bring up Nick Larsh. Grounded out his first time up. Curly over at third. And we have Max Dushney over at second. And James Merloni taking over for Nick Calabrese. We have a visit to the mound to Devonic. Who has two walks, one strikeout, and a hit by pitch. but he's gonna stay out there for the time being. Nick Larsh steps in. Wind up in the pitch, inside for ball one. Bases are loaded with no outs. Ashland leading 10 to two. Swinging strike from Nick Larsh, one and one. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some kind of suicide squeeze, but maybe Coach Obit is just kind of leaving the, the subs to do their own thing here. In there for strike, one and two. Still no outs here in the top of the seventh. Wind up in the pitch. Swinging strikeout for out number one. And Devonic's second strikeout of the day. It's gonna be Connor Kramer to the plate now. He walked his first time up. 
Also made a pretty great sliding catch in left field last inning. Wind up in the pitch. This is whacked foul, might hit a car. Just missed the car. Devonick from the stretch. The 0-1 to Connor Kramer down low for a ball. Down low again, two and one. Devonick from the stretch yet again. There is bullpen action for Dedham. Devonick looking a little bit frustrated right now. Three and one to Connor Kramer. Could he be walked twice? Swinging strike, big whoosh on that one. Full count to Connor Kramer. Devonick takes a look at third and he deals. And that's gonna be ball four. Tried to hit the outside corner, could not do it and that's gonna drive in a run. 11 to two now. One out in the inning. Jackson Hornung at the plate. He still has not been subbed out. Jackson Hornung, three for four on the day with two triples and a base hit, one RBI. Just absolutely filling up the stat sheet as he is wont to do. Wind up in the pitch from Devonick, hit on the ground, foul. Wind up in the pitch to Hornung. This is hit. Foul behind us. The pitch to Hornung. This is hit in the air, shallow in the infield. Infield fly rule in effect. That's going to Put two outs on the inning and bring up Tyler Dossis, who has not been subbed out yet. Way upstairs for ball one. This is tapped back to the pitcher. Easy throw to first, and he'll make it. It's going to put it down, but not before Ashland scores two more runs. It is a 12 to 2 lead here as we enter the last three outs of Dedham play. We'll have it for you here on WACA TV or HCAM. Maddie Tomaselli. Gets a break and Louis Dennison is going to take his place. Maddie Tomaselli ends the day with 
seven strikeouts, one walk, six innings pitched, and two runs. And Louis Dennison taking his place. Got a pretty fearsome underhand pitcher here. And he also had quite a highlight coming in to close one of the games from the Legion season last year. So that's up there for strike one. And he gets the call to close tonight. That's strike two. This is the pitch to Cam Landers, who is 0 for 2 with a walk and a run scored on the day. Wind up in the pitch. Did he go? He did not. So that is one and two. Louis Dennison, definitely one of the more exciting younger players on this Ashland Sevens team. Oh, thought he caught the outside corner on that one, but called ball two and two. Dedham down to their final three outs. They trail Ashland 11 to two. Upstairs, full count. Isaac Curley still the battery mate for the catchers, or the pitchers, excuse me. The pitch from Louie, strike three. He got him. Cam Landers goes down looking. Dead him down to their final two outs here. Griffin Moulton going to step in. The pitch from Dennison. Swinging strike. Close game early, but Dedham just, the bat stopped going as there's strike two. And Ashland just blew this game open in the fourth as they usually do. And the momentum continued into the fifth and sixth. And even the, a little bit into the seventh with their subs in. Swinging strike three, two strikeouts on the inning for Louis Dennison doing his job as the closer and doing it in style. That's going to bring up Pat Lyman. He's one for three on the day with an RBI. Struck out in his last at bat. Dedham just couldn't respond to the Ashland offense when it got going. Strike one. We have Shea Banks in there hitting for Pat Lyman. Upstairs. Excuse me, no, Matt Zerilli in there hitting for Pat Lyman. Wind up in the pitch from Dennison. Down the middle. Got him with another strike. One and two the count. One more strike will do it. Dennison gets the sign. Wind up in the pitch. And swinging strike three, he will retire the side and that's going to do it for this game. Ashland takes the win 11 to 2.
We will be back for the post game with you in just a second. That's going to do it from Dedham here tonight. Ashland going to take the W with a final score of 11 to 2 and improve to 11 and 1 on the season. They are off tomorrow night, Wednesday, the 29th, but they will be back Thursday, Friday, and Sunday with a whole slew of games. Now, the uh, player of the game is uh, either got to go to Jackson Hornung or Tyler Dossis. Hornung himself had quite the game. He went three for five, one RBI, two triples on the game. Could go to Matty Tomaselli as well, who recorded seven strikeouts, one walk, and one hit batter on two runs. And on the Dedham side, it could go to Scott Noski, who had three strikeouts and three innings pitched. Had a good performance from him before he was he was pulled out. And also Pat Lyman had quite a game. So that's going to do it for tonight. As I said, the Sevens are back in action Thursday night. And the final score for the final time, Ashland 11. Dedham 2. We'll catch you again real soon on WACA-TV and HCAM.